Now I'm in the process of converting some uh, regular pegboard over to metal pegboard and I want to give you some of the pros and cons of doing this. Now let's start with the pros of the metal pegboard. If by chance you're working in a metal shop or you're doing a lot of welding or throwing off a bunch of sparks, there's always a chance that your regular pegboard, if it got hot enough, could catch on fire. But you don't have to worry about that with a metal pegboard. Now installation for your metal pegboard is pretty simple. You have these little inserts that go into your corner pieces and that'll hold these screws that you just screw directly into your wall. Now I'm installing these on some studs, but because metal pegboards actually sit out from the wall, you can actually install this on a flat wall. And because they're metal, they're nice and strong and rigid. And they probably even add some strength to your wall. Now metal pegboard comes in a variety of colors. This just happens to be red, but I've seen yellow, blue, green, black, and many other colors. Now metal pegboard comes in a variety of different brands. Everything from wall control all the way down to this very basic brand that I bought from Home Depot. Now, metal pegboard comes in a variety of sizes, especially these smaller sizes. And I like this because this allows you to work around what you already have in your shop. If you have cabinets or other things that are currently in the way, these smaller pieces allow you to shape and put these wherever you'd like so you can easily design and fit it to your shop. Now, another great thing about the size of the metal pegboard is the ability to have it shipped really easily. I actually had this shipped free to my house. Now, I try and do that with a 4x8 sheet of standard pegboard. Yeah, right. Now here's some cons of metal pegboard. When you're trying to put these together, you have to make sure these are pushed together really tight so that whenever you happen to be using your hooks, they can fit across the boards. That can be a little bit challenging, but you have to squeeze them together. Now, going from side to side, those have to be really tight. From top to bottom, you do not have to be as concerned. Now in the process of squeezing these together or bending the metal so that you can push them closer together, a little bit hard to see here, but I have accidentally cracked the paint on both of these panels here. That's gonna suck because probably I'll start to rust under that before too long. But just keep that in mind. If you have to bend these at all, there's a good chance you'll probably bust the paint. Now I have two hooks, one on a standard pegboard and one on a metal pegboard, and I want to show you the difference in the swing between the two. Just using very lightly pressure, see how wide that swings? and how very little this does in a standard pegboard. So, because the metal pegboard is so thin, you're gonna have a lot more movement in your hooks. Now, another downside to the thin pegboard here is how low these actual long hooks or holders actually dip in the front. Standard pegboard holds them almost straight out where this, well, as you can see there, well, everything's gonna slide to the front. That sucks. Now the downside to having a bunch of different brands is that some of these brands have unique to their own brand type of holders. In other words, they will not transfer to other types of pegboards. So just keep that in mind. Now one of the big downsides to metal pegboard is the inability to cut it easily. Let's say you had an outlet right here in the wall and you wanted to put this over it. Well metal pegboard, you can go in, you can take a grinder and cut this out. Then you have to put some rust inhibitors or just repaint the whole thing to make it look nice. Where a standard pegboard, you can easily cut it out and add it to the wall. And last but definitely not least, metal pegboard is a lot more expensive than standard pegboard. This right here is a 16 by 16 panel and I got four of these for about $35. Now keep in mind I said that this right here is one of the cheaper brands that I could find. Now if you look for a standard sheet of 4 by 8 standard pegboard, you can get that for about $35. And that right there will cover a lot more surface than this ever will for that price.